Thank you, Warren. Hello, friends. Welcome to Jesus and Tim in Las Vegas, coming to you from the secret suicide capital of the world, where suicides are not reported here, but in the hometowns of where people came from, because what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. But God knows, doesn't he? What a wonderful city. There's no other city I would rather be in handing out gospel tracts, unless any city in Mexico. That's Nobody turns you down in Mexico. I did have a, a man come up to me in Mexico City. We were handing out the track, the Chick track, our Roman Catholics Christians. You can read it at chick.com. He said, I'm a Catholic, not a Christian. And I thought, well, that's why we're here. <laughs> but I'm telling you, what a joy it is to get tracks into the hands of people. I'm going to be going to Arizona with um, John Peters and others uh, on Monday. We hope to be in Arizona for 30 days. And we'll be handing out tracks and hopefully getting up some of these car magnets on cars from Gods10.com. And uh, we'll be handing out the Beast. What a timely track. You can read it at Chick.com. We'll also hand out the Poor Revolutionist. And on the back, 12 free movies, FullyFreeFilms.com. The line I'm using these days, and I would have never used it five years ago, Free movie on suicide. If you know of anybody who's suicidal, this will help them. Time after time, people take the track and say, my brother committed suicide. I have an uncle that just committed suicide. I've been struggling with, man, oh, man. Then I have a card, a card called Suicide Prevention, 1-800-273-TALK, 1-800-273-TALK. And uh, we hand that out as well, and uh, we'll be getting that out. But I'm uh, going to talk to uh, my favorite street preacher here in about uh, 10, 12 minutes. Uh, Jesus' favorite preacher was John the Baptist, who was a dynamic but outspoken street preacher. If Jesus was walking the earth today, Reuben Israel would be his favorite preacher. And you'd go, what? Reuben Israel? What about Joel Osteen, Jesus? Come on, what are you doing? Anyway... A dear friend of ours, Tim and Al, we used to have him on all the time. We were going to have him on in December uh, to uh, talk about um, some of the pr programs and, and movies that people could watch at home with their family, worthwhile movies, and that didn't work out. But we got him now, and a lot of people are home now, and there's a lot of garbage on TV, and that's why we have Ted Bear here from Movie Guy. Hi, Ted. How you doing, brother? I'm doing absolutely great because I'm talking to you. What is more this is? <laughs> right here in our stage night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a joy to talk to you, Ted. How is your wife doing? Well, my wife has been on chemo for, and in infusions and drugs for 25 years. Uh, uh, you know, every day is an opportunity to try to find a solution. Yeah. Um, it's ocular signature spentagoid, so it's a... Uh, uh, autoimmune disease, but the mm. drugs have caused a lot of problems. Mm. Like she had to have her bladder, uterus, and ovaries removed in August at USC. Oh. And, um, you know, the doctor said this is just as bad as a heart transplant. But Lily is always upbeat and uh, always joyous. And today I'm going back and forth with one of her doctors. She's got over 30 doctors about, you know, whether she should do the next IVIG or not. Mm -hmm. So y you want to go on for an hour? We can talk about yeah. that part for an hour. <laughs> but, you know, the good news, she never loses her strength, wow. which is the joy of the Lord Jesus Amen, Amen, Amen. If Amen. we know Jesus Christ, Amen. we can set free. Amen. Even in the midst of this. That's right, and, um, that's right. You know, we all know uh, that death is standing, waiting for us. Yep. And he sends us a lot of messages, including... Yep signatures of pemcoid and cancer and everything and uh when we get called into heaven yeah. you know we say what happened why didn't you warn us we <laughs> said, well, i tried to warn you i told you this was gonna happen so, god uh, designed us his planned obsolescence yeah. he can't wait to see us in heaven amen amen well we're looking forward to seeing him uh ted what uh, what's out there uh in the movies that is worthwhile for families that you would recommend well, there's there's so many good movies out there that it's it's you know it's just incredible and it always pleases me. You know, one of them that came out just a little while ago that we're considering for the Movie God Awards is the Cruise, the New Age, and uh, the producers when they made the first one of the Cruise movies, um, and it calls them out: uh, follow the sun, follow the light, 
you know, I said, you're talking about Jesus when they came to the Movie God Awards. And they said, you're the only reviewer who understood what we were saying. Wow. And the next one is the Croods, who are sort of, you know, the uh, uh, Neanderthals, uh, confronting a new family. Mm-hmm. Um, and the interesting thing is exposing all the political correctness and silliness. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's, it's great. And then, then there are a lot of uh, more mature movies, The Honesty with Liam Neeson, Wonder Woman, you know, there, there's just a flood of movies. And Greenland uh, with Gerard Butler has good faith potential. Um, I mean, there's a lot of uh, movies with faith coming out right now. Um, one of my favorites is Safety by my friend Mark Chiardi, who I did an interview with on Movie Guide. He does these sports movies. He won his first award at the Movie Guide Awards was for The Rookie. He'd done great movies before that. But then he followed up with more awards than anybody because he always puts faith in his sports movies. The Safety is about a poor boy, African-American boy, who goes off to Clemson uh, to play football. He's really bright. Uh, but his mother has uh, uh, put in prison for drugs again, and uh, his brother has no place to go. So he sneaks him into Cl- Clemson, tries to take care of him. All of the team tries to help him, but then he violates, uh, you know, the rules of the Southern uh, Sports Association. Uh, so he has to go before them and plead his case. It's a wonderful movie. There are great movies out there. Great, great, very good. Well, how do people get a hold of Movie Guide and, and your newsletter and uh, this information, Ted? Go to movieguide.org, movieguide.org. And, Tim, I, I've got to tell you that, you know, every year, maybe this year we'll have to cancel, we do a big uh, award ceremony. And um, you're always invited. Well, thank you. Um, Hollywood is pretty much shut down this year, so we were going to do it on February 19th before the Oscars. Then everybody had to move because they shut down Hollywood. Everything's boarded up. The theaters are boarded up. It's amazing. And um, so now it's April 9th. But when I get out on that stage, you know, I grew up in the entertainment industry. Mm-hmm. Uh, my job, Tim, is to tell people the good news. Amen. And many people spend a lot of time saying, oh, there's this terrible movie out here. There's just, yes, there are terrible things out there. But, you know, the church in the early church overcame the Roman Empire, which was really terrible. Right. You know, you, re- you read the stories of the martyrs, and it's really awful stories. But they got into the Colosseum, and they proclaimed good news. Amen. The good news triumphs. And if we focus on the good news, that God loves us, Mm. that God has a plan for his life, that you're doing the work of the gospel in Las Vegas, mm. that we can we can come out and tell the people in Hollywood who want to win our awards, some of them are now producing the Biden, you know, inauguration and stuff. They're not on our side politically, mm-hmm. but I want them to be on Jesus' side, ultimately. Amen. And so Amen. I've got good news for them, is that if they do movies with more faith and values, I'm sorry to talk too much, they'll make more money at the box office. Amen. And, Amen. and believe it or not, Tim, because everything's moved to streaming. The New York Times just released a list of the top movies streaming and programs. Wow. And in the, and they were very upset because the movies that are winning are family films, mm. clean films, Great. wholesome films. Five of the top that they mentioned are Movie God Award nominees. I mean, they, they, they said... People still want entertainment, and they still want positive movies. This is the New York Times. Yeah, yeah. So yeah that's yeah. what people want. They're they're depressed. Yep, that's they right. They want to be impressed. That's they right. They want to get out of their depression. That's right. Well, Ted Bear, thank you so much. You're always a blessing. Movieguide.org. You need to you need to touch base with Ted. Thank you, Ted, so much, Ted. God bless you, brother. God bless. You. Bye Take bye. care. Bye bye. <clears throat> that was Ted Bear from movie guide and you're listening to jesus and tim in las vegas by the way brandon has these uh, interviews up a few days after we do them and uh, you can hear them in uh, on jesus and tim in las vegas jesus and tim in las vegas super dave puts together the newsletter i am so grateful for that he does such a phenomenal job on that and that's uh, trackman t-r-a-c-t trackman tb at icloud.com if you'd like to get on that 
uh, trackmantv at icloud.com. And if you'd like to uh, send me a note, uh, I'd appreciate your prayers and support. Uh, my email is htimothybarons, B-E-R-E-N-D-S, htimothybarons, B-E-R-E-N-D-S, at icloud.com, at icloud.com. And uh, one of my heroes is on the phone right now. Reuben Israel, are you there, brother? Yes, brother. How are you doing? Uh, good, good, good. Oh, my. Uh, I just went to that SOPA convention. I had the opportunity to share again and meet with those fellows of like mind. What a blessing it is to be with those folks. And and uh, what were your thoughts on the convention? Sure, sure, brother. First of all, uh, SOPA is, a, uh, is an open-air street preacher convention that we do uh, several times a year here in the States in different cities and states. And so um, we had it in Tennessee. Um, In fact, we'll have it in Tennessee again in May of this year. Uh, October, it will be Atlanta. And every year, we pretty much wind down in Las Vegas. Hmm. And uh, what we do is we uh, have a lot of like-minded people who are not ashamed of the gospel, who come out and uh, teach and edify each other. It's amazing because many of those people that are teachers uh, there at this conference have actually been arrested for their faith. Mm. Uh, we've had free speech attorneys there. Mm. You know, a lot of uh, a lot of people, uh, Brother Tim, don't mm. know that uh, in America you can actually get arrested for preaching Jesus yeah. Christ. It's amazing. Oh wow, there are a lot of people that are expecting uh, <clears throat> Joe Biden to be um, inaugurated, but uh, I still believe in a great God. I think God can perform miracles. What are your thoughts on all all this that's going on? <laughs> Actually, brother, I'll be uh, leaving Monday morning to Washington, D.C. Uh, we've been having banners out there since the 80s. Mm-hmm. And uh, so uh, inauguration is definitely uh, an event that we go to and preach. Mm-hmm. Um, and again, we're there not to side with any president. We mm-hmm. are there to simply say we've all just witnessed the president, whoever he is, putting his hand on a Bible. Mm-hmm. And that same president is raising his hand saying, so help me God. Yeah, yeah. So as Christians, we're reminding everybody what the Bible says about a, a nation that can be blessed and a nation that can be cursed. Mm-hmm. And uh, so it's good. Uh, I, we do mix a little bit of politics within our, our, uh, our preaching. A lot of people may not like that, but uh, mm-hmm. we do, uh, Tim, have First mm-hmm. and Second Kings in the Bible. Right, exactly. And that is politics. God is involved in politics. Well, if there are politicians that favor the killing of God's creation in the womb, shouldn't we speak out against those uh, politicians? Yes, brother. I, I find it very difficult for anybody who calls himself a Christian and votes uh, for the Democrat Party mm-hmm. to allow for abortion, to allow for uh, you know same-sex marriage, and, uh, and it appears that it's not just the issue of an abortion. They're now going right up to birth mm. where they could abort that child. Yeah, yeah. What do you think about the Pope uh, supporting uh, Biden? I thought the Catholic Church was pro-life. Uh, yeah, they, they are. In fact, brother, we go to abortion clinics quite a bit in, in, in different cities as well. And uh, there's always a Catholic or three out there doing the rosary. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, they do... Uh, say one thing, but uh, they've been known to practice something completely different. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I'm really not surprised. Uh, it's obvious that the Catholicism is losing members, mm-hmm. and I think the Pope, uh, rather than listening to God, he uh, he wets his finger, puts it in the air, and whatever way the wind's blowing, that's that's where the anointing is going to come from. Yeah. I did an interview with Richard Bennett years ago. He had been a Catholic priest for 22 years, and I asked him, I said, uh, uh, when you went to the seminary, were there a lot of homosexuals? He said the seminary was loaded with homosexuals. Uh, National Enquirer just had uh, thousands of priests in their archdiocese uh, mentioned. uh, These are priests that molested children. And yet, uh, it's not in the papers. It'll be in something like National Enquirer, but not in the papers. And of course, if they're putting somebody's name in there and that's not true, they they lose a lot of money. Uh, why why do they allow this pedophilia so much in the Catholic Church? Why can't they do something about it? Is the Bible, yeah, brother? And what you're saying is very true. And it's in America, 
and and we have uh, a police, we have uh, organizations. My concern is what are those priests doing in a third world country where they have mm-hmm. nobody to protect them? Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, you know, they uh, here in America, uh, even when we do out these guys, they get uh, upgraded, upgraded to. Um, to the Vatican, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. like uh, Black did in in Massachusetts, right? Roger Mahoney here in Los Angeles, yeah. Uh, when these guys finally get caught for hiding, you know, yeah. LAPD is still asking for priests and information, and they're just giving giving very slowly. Mm-hmm. So, um, uh, yes, they they are definitely uh, embedded uh, with them, and uh, nobody really wants to bring that up. My pilot friend Mike and I have been in 27 Mexican cities, all the border towns, all 19 border towns, the capitals of all Central and South American capitals, uh, with the exception of Venezuela and, and Brazil. We tried to get into Venezuela, get a visa, we couldn't do it. But uh, not once have we ever had a Catholic priest or nun uh, come up to us and yell at us. We've had them take the tracks and read the tracks, but they've never complained about where we're... And, and, and we're it's totally exposing Rome and presenting Christianity. We have not had problems with the police. The first th- three towns we went to in Mexico, I thought I better not give it to the police because this is their state religion. And in Mexicali, I noticed that three of the, the priests were looking at me in this marketplace. I thought, I better go over there. Said, Buenas tardes, vaya con Dios. And I gave them a copy of, I think, Why, Why is Mary Crying? You can read it at chick.com. They didn't complain at all. I even have my picture taken with four of the police officers. And you think maybe it's because the police is, are so st- uh, sick and tired of the Catholic Church uh, covering this up and their kids being molested? I, I think so, brother. I think uh, I think uh, a, a lot of Catholics, uh, you know, you really can't debate theology with them because many of them don't know Bible. Mm-hmm. But they can see what's going on within the Church. Yeah. And that is... Um, that is that is a black eye, yeah, and yeah. Uh, it doesn't matter how you slice it. Now you know we do get a pope that comes to the states about every four to five years, mm-hmm. and uh, we go out there and follow him. He's usually in three different cities here in the states, and uh, you will get priests to come up and actually debate uh, publicly why they believe they're right. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Again, it's because we're preaching out loud against the flaws mm-hmm. of that religion. Uh, Mm -hmm. such as praying to Mary, uh, purgatory. Mm -hmm. Uh, You know, we find the word uh, apostle. Uh, uh, We find the word uh, deacon. We find the word evangelist, Mm -hmm. uh, pastor, Mm -hmm. bishop. Uh, But I still have not come across um, the word uh, uh, cardinal Mm -hmm. or pope Mm -hmm. or nun. Uh, You know, so these are things that we do get, uh, that we bring up when the Catholics are there. And... um, it uh, it's 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 amazing because uh, when you publicly expose them, uh, brother, these guys will kill for their faith. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, Fox's Book of Martyrs. Oh yeah. Anybody who's interested in the true Catholicism, martyrs a mirror. Mm-hmm. Uh, these these are saints who were put to death by the Roman Church. Yeah, and John Williams read some of that from the uh, uh, Martyrs Mirror at the Sopa Convention. That was wonderful. That was yes, wonderful. we do that on every conference uh, just to remind people of mm-hmm. this is our history. Yep. And yep. it's not, uh, you know, it's not uh, uh, prosperity in a limo in your driveway. Right. It, it, it's, it's our history. Amen. And uh, usually it's religion that goes after Christianity. Mm-hmm. And uh, in that case, yeah, with Catholicism, um, you know, brother, I'm sure a lot of people know uh, how much bloodshed Islam has caused. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. But they don't know how much bloodshed Catholicism. Absolutely, has caused. we have about three minutes, uh, Ruben. If a person is listening today and they don't have the assurance of eternal life, they don't know that they're going to heaven when they die. What could you say to them? Uh, you know, it's a good question because the Apostle John writes, "I have written these things that you will know that you have eternal life." We should know we have eternal life. I know I'm a male. I know I live in Los Angeles. I know I'm a citizen of the kingdom of, of, uh, of the United States. Shouldn't I know I have eternal life? Mm-hmm. The fact that you're even questioning whether you're saved or not brings an issue to me. Uh, I think uh, you need to cry out to God. Uh, there's probably a reason why you're thinking that. Mm-hmm. But First uh, John says, I have written these things so that you will know. 
Mm-hmm. You should be able to know that you're saved. That's right. You should be able to know that you're a child of God. You should be able to know that you are truly born again. Amen. Amen. And if you are Catholic, go up to your priest tomorrow and ask him how many purgatories does it take to get out of, uh, how, how many masses, funeral masses does it take to get a person out of purgatory and into heaven? Uh, he, hey, Tim, let me ask you. Yeah. Have you ever seen a Catholic going into a, a mass with the Bible? No, never have. Never. Never. No. Never. Never. But no. they're going to talk about God. Yeah. Yeah, Amazing. yeah, it's so sad. Uh, there's a wonderful track that uh, Chick Publications puts out. It's called Our Roman Catholics Christians, and people can read that at chick.com. But I always encourage Catholics, when, I, when I'm talking to them, I ask them seven questions. Who came into the world to save you and me? Was it Jesus or Mary? Who loved sinners more when they were here on earth? Jesus or Mary? To whom did sinners go to for their salvation when they were here on earth? Jesus or Mary? Do we have anybody saved through Mary's intercessions in the Bible? No. The dying thief on the cross, who did he turn to? Mary at his feet or Jesus at his side? Jesus at his side. Did he do well? Jesus said, today you'll be with me in paradise. And I conclude by saying, if my most faithful loving friend 2,000 years ago is Jesus, can you show me that he's lost any what he had and what he's lost has been gained by anybody else? Uh, Turn your life over to Jesus and uh, boy, you, you you won't regret it. Uh, Ruben, thank you so much. Again, if people want more uh, information about SOPA and Ruben Israel, where do they go? Uh, you can go to uh, uh, Official Street Preacher, my Facebook page, uh, Ruben Israel. And on Wednesdays, we have a live uh, 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 show where I answer questions and deal with the uh, uh, topics, current events. Uh, this past Wednesday, I dealt with the issue of marriage. And after I give the rundown, it's a Q&A time. So uh, there's much out there to do. Uh, You know, I say be bold for Jesus. We see how much sin and, and boldness that sin is. Let's let's counter it with boldness as well in Amen. America. Amen. And I was delighted to be able to speak at the last conference, and they'll be able to see that as, as well. Just official street preacher uh, 2021? Uh, it's official street preacher, and that'll get you right into our site. Okay. And if you want to see the teachings on SOPA, you can just go to uh, YouTube and put uh, SOPA street preachers, and there's pretty much all of our uh, teachers that were there at uh, at this past conference in Vegas. Okay. Thank you so much, Ruben. God bless you. See you here, there, or in the air. God bless you, Tim. All right, I brother. appreciate all that you do, brother. Thank you, God brother. Bless. Take care. Bye-bye. All right, my friend. Uh, Ruben will have... Uh, uh, not Ruben, but uh, uh, Brandon will have today's program up on uh, YouTube here in a couple of days. Uh, Jesus and Tim in Las Vegas. If you'd like to get on the mailing list for the newsletter, TrackmanTB at iCloud.com. Thank you, Brandon and and Super Dave for doing that. Thank you so much, friends. Keep us in your prayers as we head to Arizona. Try to get out 10,000 tracks in the next month. Thank you so much for your prayers. Live for the Lord. Bring home all A's. Tell your friends and neighbors about Jesus. And if you're on the verge of suicide, go to fullyfreefilms.com and watch the movie Exit. Bye-bye.
working for the Lord. Give me gas for my Lord. 